I had actually a meeting with him close after I moved to the U.S. because that was when OSX was fairly new. He asked you to join him? Stop selling water and just join him? <laughs> Basically, they said, hey, OSX is the future and it's Unix, come and work on it. And I said, are you going to change the kernel to Linux? And they, no, 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 but we'd <laughs> like you to work on, on BSD. And I said, yeah, whatever. I actually like a lot of things that Apple does. Mm -hmm. I think in, in other respects what Apple does is worse than what Microsoft ever did. Mm -hmm. The whole control of the media and support infrastructure is kind of disconcerting. Mm -hmm. I think they're successful for a good reason. Mm -hmm. I actually thought Apple was dying, but I was clearly not the only one. Mm -hmm. And Steve Jobs clearly was a huge driver of mm -hmm. their revival. Mm -hmm. And just having a person who was so respected inside of Apple and also had such a strong idea of where to go and mm -hmm. was able to actually push things through and make changes that they clearly needed. What situation Apple is in now, I don't know. I mean, they're in a pretty good market position. Mm -hmm. Maybe they don't need Steve anymore. On the other hand, the iPod was clearly what kind of revived them. And the iPod is losing its significance. They've done the iPhone. Eventually, the iPhone will lose its significance. I mean, already, if you look at the coolest phones, a lot of them are Android. I'm not going to dismiss Apple. Then. Do they need jobs? I don't know. I actually don't think that leadership is necessarily all that important most of the time, and I say that as a technical lead mm -hmm. person, and I think CEO positions are often over revered. They're not really, it's not that they're not worth their pay, it's just that a CEO kind of person in most situations can only do so much. It's like quite often he's more a figurehead than anything else, and a, a successful company often is about can they execute can they get things right? And I think actually Steve Jobs and Apple is the rare example of a situation where the CEO really made a huge difference and actually made decisions about where the company should go that were huge. I'm sure he took credit for stuff that his staff really did, but he was really good at taking credit in that case.